Hi everyone, it's Shireen again from Let Me Take You Here. So this time I'm going to narrate and translate the second part of this interview with Master of School Meals from the show Culinary Class Wars. Um, yeah, I hope you just sit back, relax and enjoy this interview. And remember to like and subscribe and also most importantly turn on notifications because nowadays I upload three times a week or even more um, on this kind of content and other content related to Korea so yeah thanks for watching and let's get into the interview in this episode, Lee Mi Young, or Master of School Meals, will introduce some of the dishes that she usually cooks for school or for at home, share some cooking tips. And later on, she will also be interviewed about how she prepares food at her former workplace for over 100 children every day uh, before she just retired and went on culinary class wars. Oh, so could you please introduce the side dishes or panchan that we see in front of us? These are dishes that are often cooked at home. There is kimchi jjim. And if people don't like kimchi, this one is called kochari, which is more like a freshly made kimchi, non-fermented salad. And this one is a gochujang pork belly, fried with pork belly and here is uh, sliced onions mixed with plum extract and then over here is a very common dish egg rolls so what's the recipe for the kimchi jim this dish kimchi jim is very simple it's just about putting everything in and boiling it. That's it. And in the kimchi, I use anchovy broth. Not too much water. And add some garlic, add some fish sauce, add a little bit of sugar and some mirin. And then just bring it all to a boil. And that's it. Pretty easy, huh? What about this egg roll dish, which is the favorite of every primary school student? Now, these are the egg rolls that are how I exactly made them for the cafeteria. I slice a little bit of carrot, a little bit of onion, and I use seojeo uh, and eggjeo, which is prawn paste and fish sauce. And I mix a little bit into the mixture. It sort of removes any smell from the egg. And put in a dash of sugar as well. We don't use MSG at school. So I just put in a little bit of sugar. And that creates a, a taste that the, the kids like. What about the recipe for this cabbage gochari or fresh kimchi? A little bit of garlic. And chili flakes. Karu. Any special points to note while making kochujang bulgogi? I think other households that make this dish use quite a lot of kochujang. I put a ratio of one to three, so one spoon of kochujang to three portions of kochukaru uh, chili powder. If you put too much kochujang, then your dish will have that sort of stale aftertaste of kochujang. But when you add a lot of chili powder, then the dish will taste more fresh and spicy. What about the marinated onions? Only three ingredients, plum extract, soy sauce and vinegar, all in the same ratio of one to one to one. If you do that, it will probably taste quite good. What is your favorite dish made by your mom out of these? Mine would definitely be the cabbage kotori, which is really good for giving me an appetite. Since it's autumn now, do you have any dish ideas for cooking at home to suit this uh, autumn season? The weather is getting chilly, so one of the dishes that would be great is uh, kimchi bean sprout soup. And 
Radishes are in season, they're very sweet. So you could make a cold dish of julienne radish slices, and then you could whip up a denjang jjigae, soybean stew, mix the denjang stew with the radish, and then with rice and eat it together, and finish off with the kimchi bean sprout soup. I think that would be a great combination. Kimchi bean sprout soup and denjang jjigae. How would you cook them so that they taste good? Any tips? Most people put in the bean sprouts first in the boiling water. Rather than that method, I would put the kimchi in first and then boil it for a long time. The most uh, ripened kimchi is the best for this kind of dish. And after you boil it, while you're boiling it, you add all the other condiments and then at the end, put the bean sprouts in. It's really delicious. What about the denjang jjigae? Get the denjang from my mother who makes it personally. You really need good denjang to make good denjang stew. And uh, I just put in... So you put in onions, zucchini, tofu, and spring onion. And it, just because you put a lot of ingredients into the stew doesn't mean that it will taste good. So I keep it simple and I just put these few ingredients. Boil that with just a little bit of water and the denjang and it will probably taste quite good. Did you originally enjoy cooking? Hmm, well, I didn't know how to cook and I only started cooking after I got married. Uh, not kidding i actually burned the rice and then there would be only one dish which is uh, beef stir fry uh, for me it was very bad it tasted very bad however my husband happily ate it all saying that it was delicious so I, f I felt very, I'm suddenly feeling very touched all over again. There was soy sauce in it and when I tasted it, it was just too salty and didn't taste all right at all. But my husband kept saying, wow, this is delicious. And then he ate all of it. So uh, that's, yeah, I'm suddenly feeling quite sentimental now. And, you know, back then there was no internet, so I went to the bookshops a lot and got recipe books and looked at them and studied how to make dishes. So I think I improved by looking at all these recipes and looking at the books. Do your family members like the food that you cook? I always say to my children, um, the food that mom makes, it tastes pretty average, right? Just standard sort of cooking. But my children always compliment me and say, no, uh, mom, your food is really, really good. It's above average and it's very delicious. So I get tremendous support for my fa from my family and I think that is one of the most important things that keeps me going forward. How did you feel on the very first day of your job uh, as a chef at the school cafeteria? Definitely nervous because I was wondering if my food would taste okay to them. And of course, the best moments are when the teachers and the students come up to me and say, the meal was really delicious, thank you, it was really good. That's when I feel relieved and happy. You seem to put a lot of attention to finer details in your cooking. For example, the younger ones... Uh, they may not be able to eat spicy dishes. So the ones in primary grade one to three, we call them the lower grade uh, children who are younger, they can't really eat spicy foods so well, So, uh, but they really like uh, noodles. So sometimes I make uh, mixed noodles, cold noodles for them. And instead of the spice, I mix quite a lot of ketchup in it so that it becomes less spicy and more suitable for their taste. What do you think makes you so passionate about your job? It feels really good when you see them eat your food and like it. So I always have the thought of, ah, let's cook a meal so that they 
can feel that they are having a meal at home. And this is pretty much how I've always approached my job. What do you think is the most important thing about working as a school cafeteria chef? It just has to taste good. That's the most important thing. So I even check the remains of the food in the bins to see what was left and which things that they they ate all of and what things that they didn't like and left behind. In the end, it, it just comes down to making good tasting food. How did you feel when you went to work for the very last day before it your retirement? It was a lot of mixed feelings. I felt sad, happy, sentimental. Uh, glad that now I'm finally retired. It was quite complicated. But on one hand, I also think that, um, you know, finally it's time for me to relax and recharge and do the things that I want to do. Any thoughts of opening your own restaurant? There are no specific plans yet to do so because I'm so busy now with uh, ending culinary class walls and going to all the interviews and things like that. So maybe, however, when everything settles down, then I will consider uh, opening a restaurant and then people who want to eat my food can come and try it out.